Have you ever wondered how to get cheap flights to Thailand? I've been traveling to and from Thailand for several years now, but noticed it's not always the cheapest. So I started to think about how people like you and I can save money when we book our flight. But to do this successfully, I needed more data from people traveling from the US, Canada, Australia, etc. to make sure that this will work for you just as much as it will work for me in the UK. So I've been networking with a small group of expats who live in Bangkok so we can compare prices, data, and any price hacks that we have. And here is what we found. So the first price hacking method that you can use is to go on a website called Scott's Cheap Flights if you're in the US, or Jack's Flight Club if you're in the UK. These are websites that let you find flight deals at crazy low prices. Nevertheless, looking at the price data, if we search for flights the traditional way, we will find that the start of the year is the cheapest time to fly on average. In most countries, during the summer and autumn months, prices increase for international travel. However, we found that late January to February offers some fantastic prices for both direct and indirect flights. Some members of the group found that booking eight weeks in advance to be the sweet spot. So you don't always need to book months in advance like we're told to. But what about if this time of year has been missed? Fear not, as one tool that can be used to find cheap flights to Thailand and also other parts of Asia is the Skyscanner price alert feature. Okay, but what about if you're flying from the US, from Canada, Australia? These are countries that typically have higher prices, right? That is true, but one option you have is to book indirect flights or separate tickets. Now, this is not ideal for every traveler, but you will save a lot of money and you can even go to a nearby country and then take a bus or a flight over to Thailand. For example, in a few weeks I will be flying back over to Bangkok. The cheapest direct fly I found was £700. However, I did find a direct flight to Vietnam for only £300. I then booked a single from Vietnam to Bangkok. Naturally, this isn't the most convenient as I'll be waiting in the airport for about four or five hours. However, it does save me a lot of money. But you can also flip this and look at the cheapest airport back home. The US, for example, has some cheaper and more expensive airports. There are a growing number of flight websites out there that let you search by state. So if you don't mind traveling, you could find another nearby airport that offers you a much cheaper rate. It has been reported over the years that some airlines have been known to try and discourage comparison websites and prefer customers to book directly on their website. So booking directly with an airline often leads to finding lower prices and more services. And on the opposite point of view, if you want to find an indirect flight with other carriers, you will need to use a comparison site, so it's best to check both the airline and the comparison site before you book. Another way we found that lowers flight prices to Thailand is to use a gift card. But watch out for the scams. It's often best to find these gift cards with a legitimate seller or with the airline directly. But here's a question, have you ever noticed that every time you start searching for flights, the prices go up every time you recheck? I noticed this too. So I did some digging and I wanted to find out what other expats and the expat community are saying. And I found out that some people suggest you use incognito mode on your web browser as the prices revert back to the original price. So if you've been searching for flights to Thailand this year, try again with incognito Nito mode and see if this lowers your price. Also, if you're someone who travels from place to place, from country to country, you may benefit from becoming a member of the airline. Most airlines, such as Thai Airlines, give additional services and lower prices to their loyal customers, which means that you can always save money on your future flights by enrolling. Now, if you've stayed this far into the video, it's only fair that I try to make your flight as comfortable as possible. So, the final hack is it's not so much about price, but comfort. There is a website that I use before each flight, and it's called Seat Guru. It lets you see seat maps, and you can even read reviews from other travelers. The website explores legroom, in-flight entertainment, power outlets, and even tips for selecting the best seats on a particular plane. 